Hey, what's up YouTube? It's ICU and today we have something awesome to discuss in the realm of jailbreaking, specifically related to the iOS 9.3.3 jailbreak and the combination Pangu PP app. There is a brand new version, version 1.1, available for download. Unfortunately though, it still does not include support for 32-bit devices. I'm going to be briefly touching on the subject toward the end of the video, so if you have an older device that isn't supported, be sure to stick around. All right, so up first, what's new in version 1.1 of PP and should you download it? Well, essentially the only thing that's changed is that they've now added support for the 6th gen iPod Touch as well as iPad Pro models, which were already supposed to be supported in the first iteration of the jailbreak. So they've basically fixed things for those devices. So yep, if you have a 6th gen iPod Touch or an iPad Pro 9.7 or 12.9 inch, you can now jailbreak successfully. And you can do so using one of two methods. You can either utilize the computer method, which is a little bit more lengthy, or you can actually jailbreak on your device itself. We're going to get into that in just a second, but first I wanted to let you know if you're already jailbroken, you don't have to reinstall this. However, you can if you want to. And again, you can either do that using the computer or using the on-device method. And if there is a substantial update to the jailbreak itself in the future, it will be deliverable via the app. So be sure to subscribe if you have yet to. I will keep you fully updated and informed of any and all PP apps updates. Now, like I said, there are two methods to get it. I will have both linked down below in the description. You can get it on a computer if you happen to have a Windows-based PC and a little bit of time on your hands, or you can just visit jailbreakme9.com. I actually did an in-depth video on the jailbreak process on device. If you happen to miss that, I will have it linked in your cards right now. I highly recommend watching through it because in that video, I go over all of the caveats of an on-device jailbreak and actually utilizing this method. Now we have updated it to support version 1.1. So you just have to visit it on your sixth gen iPod or your iPad Pro and you'll be able to jailbreak successfully. Big shout out to Black Geek Tutorials as well as iMoclis for actually helping with this. Remember, I've just compiled everything on a single and easy to remember site for you guys, jailbreakme9.com. So let's actually go ahead and get into this quickly on the 6th gen iPod Touch. All right, so here we go. I'm not going to detail the process in its entirety, but I am going to actually jailbreak this iPod Touch 6th gen on video for you guys, just so you can see that it does work properly. All right, so now approving the application itself inside of settings we can go over and launch the app now the PP app we're going to OK notifications of course and wait a little bit before we tap in the circle also while we're waiting I want you guys to take note at the bottom it does confirm that we are on Pangu PP combination app version 1.1 so you know you have the latest update that is compatible with every device if it says 1.1 below all right we've waited long enough we can go ahead and tap inside of the circle and then lock the device right about now Right, as you can see, we did receive a storage almost full notification. Don't worry if that happens. That's just because this app writes to the system logs itself. And we also have another notification that mentions Cydia. Of course, it is in Chinese. That's completely fine though. That means the jailbreak is functioning successfully right now. And it's just going to take a little bit and then the device will appear as though it's rebooting. So let's go ahead and just cut this part right here. All right, there you go. We could see the Apple logo for just a second. We're back at the lock screen now, sliding to unlock. Closing out of that low battery warning, we're going to swipe over now and we do have Cydia. And just note that the same exact thing applies with this version 1.1 as it did with the previous iteration. You still have to reapply a portion of the jailbreak. It has to patch the kernel every time you reboot because it is semi-untethered, so to speak. So while you don't need the assistance of a computer to reboot, you do need the assistance of the PP app to reboot. If you happen to accidentally delete it or remove it from your device, remember you can download it right now through jailbreakme9.com. However, if and when that certificate gets revoked, as I said in that dedicated video, you will need to utilize the computer method. All right, so I hope this video helped you guys out. If it did, be sure to drop it a like. I would definitely appreciate it. And let's briefly talk about 32 bit devices before concluding here. All right, so essentially there has been some word that Pangu and PP may actually update the tool to include support for 32-bit or older devices with that non-64-bit CPU. Unfortunately, there is a fake account posing as 25PP themselves. They've been confirmed to be imposters by 25PP, and unfortunately we have no guidance from either Pangu or PP as to whether they're going to update and include support for 32-bit devices. Unfortunately though, it seems rather 
rather bleak because of course they did not include support for said devices inside of their iOS 9.1 jailbreak and of course it would require additional exploits, potentially more than one, to actually get things functioning on 32-bit and they probably don't want to burn through them. All right, so that wraps up absolutely everything I wanted to talk about. If you want to be updated even more often, such as when I release new videos concerning updates to the PPN Pangu app, just be sure to click the subscribe button below next to my channel name, like me on Facebook, and follow me on Twitter. And until next time, this is ICU signing out. Join the iCrack Your Device community on Patreon to help out the channel and to be featured in videos similar to these top contributors. Click the link on your screens now if you're on desktop or check below.